Hello friends, this is Dr. Aarti Upadhyay, Assistant Professor, Biani Group of Colleges. Today we are going to read the topic Consumer Behavior. The topic Consumer Behavior, we can split it into the two parts. It is, it can be utility analysis or and indifference curve analysis. So the utility analysis approach is given by Professor Marshall, very, very renowned economist and the utility analysis is split into the cardinal approach. It is the cardinal approach analysis. Why we, why we say this is cardinal approach? Because Marshall takes it utility, it, Marshall measures utility into the utils or he gives the number, the utility into the one, two, three, four. So that's why we say this utility analysis, the cardinal approach analysis also. Today we will discuss about utility analysis only and later on we will discuss indifference curve. So we come to the point to utility. The utility is a psychological concept. So and the utility is the power to satisfy human want. If a commodity have any utility for a particular consumer, then only he, uh, he demand for that particular commodity. If the product or the commodity is not useful for the consumer, then he'll definitely do, do not demand for that commodity. So there must be utility into the product so that a consumer can purchase it. So utility is a power to, power to satisfy the human wants. So there are two more concepts for the utility that are total utility and marginal utility. Now we come to the total utility concept. Total utility is the summation of the uh, total utility that we derive from the consumption of each and every commodity. That is sigma mu. Mu is marginal utility. So, or we can say that total utility is the summation of mu of one commodity, second mu of second commodity, and so on mu of n commodity. So this is the concept of total utility. Now we come to the concept of marginal commodity. Marginal utility, sorry. So what is marginal utility? Marginal utility is the additional utility that we derive from the consumption of one extra, util extra unit of a commodity. That is delta Tu upon delta Q. Now, delta Tu stands for the to change into the total utility that derived from the change into the quantity of a particular commodity. So, delta Q is what? Delta Q is the change into the consumption of a particular commodity and delta Tu is the change into the total utility that derives from that consumption of that particular commodity. So, in that way, Mu is equals to delta Tu upon delta Q or we can explain it into this way that mu is equals to tun minus tun minus 1 means total utility of uh, n commodity minus that extra utility that extra commodity consumption is utility so the, in this way this is the concept of utility now there is certain relationship between total utility and marginal utility that we can discuss it on the another lecture thank you thank you thank you